back right after this play to the outside. We can't. And he makes a man miss. And he's still going. He's still moving. Um, okay. That is by far the most crazy play we've had in any of our franchises combined. What is going on, guys? You're back with another video. We are on our Desperados Relocation Fantasy Draft franchise. We are 8-0. Coming off of a very close win of 40 to 38 versus the Rams, uh, and yeah, the division's almost already locked up. We might be very close to a playoff spot already. Uh, there are there is some pretty decent competition. I don't know the exact math, but maybe three more wins with the Steelers losing three more times. I don't even know, but obviously we're gonna keep that streak going. Got the Cardinals here, and it might be even easier this week. As I upgraded, usually I do the upgrades on, uh, you know, off cam. But Brandon Cook's got a speed upgrade. Yes, you can see it right there. Plus one to speed. So now he is 96 speed. That's crazy to think. Wish his agility and his excel was uh, was swapped because he's got good agility. But his juke move is 79. His spin move is 75. What the hell am I supposed to do with that anyways? I don't even know. Uh, but, I mean, that's really about it. I don't know if I... No, 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 no. Actually, no, that was the right thing. All right, so we're eight games through the year. 22 passing touchdowns, 24-20. Half four twenty. Sorry. Uh, so, I mean, easily on par for an MVP season. We just got to limit these damn fumbles. Uh, and we did not get a player of the week. That's all right, because guess what? We're always the player of the week, champ. I'm just hoping we don't have another scenario where we accidentally play the same game or we start the same game or we lose stats, because that's just annoying. Almost ended up playing the damn Ravens twice, which would have been really bad. Ooh, Odell Beckham. Uh, pretty similar to Brandon Cooks. Obviously, Brandon Cooks doing it a lot more often for the distance, as you can see his yards per carry or per catch way through the roof. It doesn't show it, but obviously, using common sense, almost the same yards and touchdowns, yet 14 more catches for Odell and the graphics looking pretty nice. I like the shininess. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Like, if they didn't have this stupid, like, background colors, it'd be so great to have as the thumb thumbnail, but they just use these really weird, like, color tones. It's like, it's almost like childish. Like, the, the, the logos look sick, and then the backgrounds are just gross. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, take your kid to work day. I'll make the logo, you make the background. <laughs> just choose the worst color tones possible. Just the worst style ever. What the hell is that? Which Freeman is that? I don't know. Probably not Devontae, though. It is Royce. That's what I figured. Seven carries for 26 yards and a touchdown. Is he the backup? Did he relieve someone in the game? Because that's a low amount of carries. Even by our standards, that's low. That's, I don't know. It's, it is what it is. They're going to get the ball first. Buffalo uh, going against Pittsburgh. All right. Uh, we don't really know who has who, what team has what. And, okay, Jefferson, I don't know who he is. A big fella running through us. Gets to the 29-yard line. Quarterback for the Cardinals. I don't have an idea. Maybe Phillip? It is Phillip River. 16 touchdowns, 5 picks, almost 2,200 yards. So, not even that much farther behind than our guy. It's more important things than win MVP, but doing well enough to get MVP obviously leads to wins. Let's be honest. You're not going to win MVP in the league if your team's not good. Travis Kelsey, they got some uh, some really big boy names in this on this team. No, <gasps> my controller died at the worst possible time, and it doesn't pause for some reason. You got Tariq Cohen as a backup, though. All right, so even though that was really ugly the way we've seen it, we do know of their team. Don't remember looking at their linemen, though. That's kind of an irrelevant position for the most part. And there goes a huge hit by Davenport. Tariq Cohen gets his first carry, and it goes for nothing. Let's try I mean, I'm going to try. Chris Jones gets double team. It's not going to happen. Shazier come up. Shazier and company gets the bullocks out of him. <laughs> That's a foreign phrase. So we know of Josh Allen's yard, uh, yardage and touchdowns, but what's his picks? Only five. He's killing it. I mean, it's, it's kind of wild. Quick throw inside, and that's a really good play. That is a dime by Josh Allen. Burgess Chark. We got some pretty good names on this uh, list. And I was looking for why, but he got completely just, I don't even know, pass interfered or something. Maybe I should have taken Evan right out the gate. Got to step up. I can't do it. The right tackle gets beat again. Andrew Norwell. Great. So after the, you know, the two sacks, they're in good position. I can't believe we got sacked twice in a row. We have a great offensive line. I didn't even get to see their defensive line. 
Cohen gets a lot of yards there. Holy crap. Chris Jones not going to get in there, but the team does. And he loses about a yard and a half, so we're uh, in a third and five situation. I think this is a very good opportunity to force no points again, despite the good field position. And that's not going to happen. And maybe it will. I don't even know. They're going to give him way too much on that. He fought. He was the one that was fighting, not us. I mean, that's a little different, I suppose. I don't know, guys. Odell gets a first down. It's because of you guys distracting me. And that could be picked, and it will not be. That's debatable. I might throw the challenge flag here, can't I? Oh, did he really not? I thought that left foot landed, but I guess it just hung in the air. There goes Shazier. That's going to be a third and 12. We got to hold him here, surely. Got the speedy rookie coming off the edge. Hopefully he cleans up after himself when he's done. Inside, and Odell drops it. Good job by Edmonds. That should force a field goal. So we have like a whopping seven yards so far. Not looking super hot. McCaffrey underneath is wide, but he drops the ball. We're one for two so far uh, on offense. Get to see their defense now for the first time, though. So who do they have that they're just dominating us? Taco Charlton, Malcolm Brown, and Everson. Everson's pretty good, to be fair. CJ Mosley, I don't know who this Glenn Fisher guy is, but not a bad front seven. And then DBs are pretty rough. Let's get Shark on a slant. I should have taken him. Never mind. It's a better look to wait, and Chark gets his feet down for the first down. I'm holding on to the ball. I'm like being more cautious than usual. And that's a rough, risky one. And, of course, it's picked off the tip. The awareness of gods, apparently. That's pick number six. Maybe should have taken Chark instead, but Burgess had him. I mean, he had him beat. And uh, he really didn't get contest. The ball never got contested. He got contested. Look at the throw power there. I guess it did get. No, nah, he didn't get contested. Was Shark open? Oh, I had Shark, I think. That safety was rough, though. And that's not my coverage. Somebody break that. And, of course, the, like, 56th string tight end holds on. Another third down situation. Come on. We've been really bad on third down in this game. Pretty much letting up every third down they've tried. And that continues with another first down. Lovely. I mean, with the way they're converting on third down, I'm probably just, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but I'm probably just going to continue to just th uh, show third down only. There's just no point to show the rest of it. I mean, like I said, they're just going to convert anyway. So, I mean, I don't need to show the short plays. Good. I'm glad one of their guys got hurt. They're starting to trigger me here. Can somebody play some coverage? I mean, we have an amazing team. I'm going to use your teal on Odell. Sick of Odell beating us. And there goes a huge hit on the inside for Marcus Davenport. So far, we're struggling, and even defenses look pretty vulnerable, but if we can hold them out of the end zone again, I would call that a pretty big win. So let's just do what we can, and I'm stuck on the damn D-line. I can't get off. There we go. We brought enough, enough pressure, I feel, and ooh. Bullock almost just got murdered by Lattimore. Helmet to helmet. Who could be coming to you? Inside, it's a missed throw. I did have Chark, but at the end of the day, I also had uh, Y, who would have gotten a block from Chark. Great throw there, Josh. Play looks good. Cooks with that extra speed might be able to break one free. And nobody's in a block, and it's almost picked off. Poyer gets hurt on the play. Thank God it wasn't Josh. But here's another punt. We're struggling. We can't even move the ball. And this, I mean, like I said, this playbook is absolutely horrendous. But still, good job, fellas, because I got kind of caught up. We'll let them uh, waste the clock again. I really don't. I mean, we have three timeouts. There's no point. I mean, we're not even guaranteed to score anyway. So what's the difference? Back right after this play to the outside. We can't. And he makes a man miss. And he's still going. He's still moving. Um. Okay. That is by far the most crazy play we've had in any of our franchises combined. And it gains about 31. But Cohen should easily get like 90% of these carries. Please tell me that was out of bounds. If that better not be pass interference. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. I thought that should have been picked. Fabian Moreau. Okay, I don't know why that would be a thing, but okay. 
Oh Jesus. He, <laughs> Odell's Odell's quite a receiver. I need like not chew clock on. Burgess is open and Josh misses a throw again. How's Josh Allen doing these things? And how is Mosley is the slowest player in the league. He is not breaking on that ball for a pick. Like that's what worries me about these sliders is they're locking us down with these terrible DB. I mean, these DBs are so bad. There you go. Covered sack for Davenport. Back of the end zone. Never mind. Teal with a one-handed pick. The rookie. I wish he could have stayed in bounds. That would have been a huge game changer. What an interception. Quick throw. Chark gets a decent game. We're going to hurry up to the line here. Inside throw to Cooks, who actually is very fast. Gets quite a bit. Obviously, that's one of our timeouts being used there. Single high. Maybe somehow Cooks can draw him in. I know it's kind of far. Wide open is Burgess, the rookie. And I tried to go out of bounds, but I get caught up. We're going to have to keep our timeout. Hurry up. To the outside. McCaffrey gets the catch. Goes out of bounds. Nine seconds, so we can throw one more to get a little closer. That was such a tough throw. It's an amazing one in fairness, but probably not super high percentage. And, of course, Bo doesn't go down. Good job, Bo. Good job knowing the situation, buddy. Good job, dude. So, you know, the whole first half, no touchdowns. We threw two picks. It's easy just to say, hey, we have to throw the ball only. Which, ironically, this play we kind of have to. <laughs> but we are going to get into the running game a little bit this drive or this yeah, quarter. There goes Burgess. Come on, outrun him. Good job, Burgess. Cooks gets a block. And Burgess on the slant goes for 67. That's exactly what we were looking for. I don't know why they didn't have safety help there. Burgess gets a great block from the one plus one speeded Cooks. And we score finally. I mean, we had a lot of options there. Cooks was probably the, other than Ingram, Cooks was probably the only guy that I wouldn't have thrown to there, even though he probably would have gotten open. It's just him and Chark, the rookie and Chark, both got really free. And there goes Davenport. I'm very lucky I didn't get called for a late hit. I definitely dove a little late there, but I think I missed him. We just need him in that ground defense, and I'm happy. To the outside, who is that? Does he bring him down? It is Davenport for number three. And Burgess, the rookie, is going back far for this one good recovery and i'm assuming this is gonna be i'm actually not gonna risk i'm not i'm not taking the chance good job burgess i actually am shocked he got that because he is so damn slow like slow in the sense of cutting players it's all right because we're gonna run the ball with mccaffrey here who's gonna get a nice block to the outside try to cut out i mean normally you cut in there but i thought maybe i could break him you're going to go with Smash here. McCaffrey could still be my look. Great throw considering I accidentally was on the run. Good move by Cooks. He's almost always breaking somebody's ankles. I mean, really, both were my bad. You know, they're both my fault, too. You know, you could easily say that it's unlucky, but I should not have thrown either ball. Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Am I blind? Sitting on the first down. A lot of yard, a lot of plays where they're sitting at the first down marker. And John Ross is wide open down the field. Has to recover for the ball, but he gets 30 yards. What a player he's become ever since moving to uh, to running back. Something about it that he's just, he's just better now. I don't know what it is. Really power runner style. Nice throw to Shark. I mean, that is just amazing. It was basically a no-look throw across his body. Beautiful play. Yeah, I'm glad the yardage uh, totals have shifted majorly. Like, we were looking really bad. Defense is really starting to come up. Let's just throw the damn ball. And off the edge, it's Harold Landry this time. I thought Davenport had number four. And it works. All right. All right. I like this. Oh, look at the block. The seal. Is that Brandon Cooks again? He has become such a good blocker this game. And, of course, they completely cuck McCaffrey down to the five. And there it is, Cooks. Too deadly on the slants. He is honestly the best receiver ever. He's so good at blocking. Insane on slants. He's so good. Chris Jones is fighting, but he can't do it. Uh-oh. I'm going to swap this. I went for the swat. 
And number 18, maybe it was number 18 that broke all the ta all those tackles, but he just went off, and now they have a big play down to the five. What is this quarter bringing to us? Richard Matthews, Chris Jones on the inside. Of the, what a play call. And Morgan, basically a blocking tight end, slips out for a wide open, broken play touchdown. Good job for them. They're not going to go for two. Kind of the smart call because you want to give the team more hope. In my opinion, I don't even know if that's really the reasoning behind it, but that's always been my thought process. If you need the two-point conversion at some point, wait till you actually get the touchdown and you need to tie, you know? Wish we could have got him the touchdown. To the outside, McCaffrey is so good. but They should call him a one spin back, and he's gone. He's so good. In the open field, he's amazing. Let's give him a touch, a team celebration. That could be the dagger, honestly. Maybe I do need to run the ball more. Even though we constantly get stuffed, constantly don't get big plays. Well, not big plays. We constantly don't get decent gains. Once we have that shot, McCaffrey's so slippery. He can break it at any time. So eight and a half minutes left. We've reached almost 400 yards of offense. It was looking really bad. That first half was horrendous. I think we had 33 yards in the first half. And there's a pick for Edmonds. I didn't want to do it, and he's still going. The, I thought he was down. They might have to take a look at this thing. Edmonds, it's been a while, buddy, but you've done it. Third pick of the season. It really has been a while. Eight games, and you know he had two picks before today, which is, of course, the ninth game. I thought we were down there, though. That was questionable. I want to see this one. And Oh, that's so close. Look at this. Almost touching feet. And he never got touched. I thought he did. It was so close, but he didn't. Obviously, you know, it is a 2-6 and six team, so we shouldn't even have been in this spot in the first place. But we were, and honestly, I thought we were going to stay in there. Phillip Rivers, three picks. Don't even remember three. I remember two for sure. And they're bringing the heavy formation. This could be a run. Come on, McIntosh. This is all you, man. Show them that you're a great rookie. And Royce hesitates, and he doesn't get the first. Harold can't get there. Oh, no. I tried to go for the strip. And Martavis, I believe that's the Bryant they have, dives into the end zone for his fifth touchdown of the season. You know, with the five wide set, are they going to see the QB draw coming? That's the question. The answer is no. And I try to go down, but he doesn't want to. And Josh Allen's a tough mofo, I'll tell you what. And that will end the game. Everybody got a little bit. Just a little taste. Maybe Bo got screwed a little bit more than usual, but... That's all right. He's had uh, a lot of success in the past. Teal, that was a big moment in the game, too, even though it led to zero points. It's just it took points off of their board, which was big. You know, If he doesn't come up with that pick, they probably have nine points, maybe even more. Uh, they ran the ball very poorly. They passed the ball better than us. But overall, we had a very damn good balanced game. Almost exactly the same yardage on both sides. Well, not both sides, but both aspects of the offensive uh, game plan. Worked out really well with McCaffrey, I'll tell you what. It was looking rough from every you know angle, but we uh, we caught some decent lanes, and obviously McCaffrey did the rest. He broke a lot of tackles. I know it says two, but they're not going to count the non-contacts. A lot of uh, elusive style plays. Anyone over 100 for us? No, Brandon Cooks had a decent game. Chark had a couple of plays. Burgess, probably our best receiver, even though he only caught two catches. Cooks did very well, though, in the blocking category, so maybe he was actually technically our best receiver. Uh, Davenport did really well, even had a sack on that two-point conversion. Uh, Fernando Teal, nice interception, kicking two for two. Very good week for us. Uh, a bit of a dominant one, even though the first half was atrocious. You're, it's funny because you're going to see people like looking at the first half. They're, they're not going to care. Once the second half, it's too easy, too easy. Really, McCaffrey didn't win. Watson was pretty damn good in fairness, but almost 200 yards on the ground with at least one rushing touchdown, maybe two. I think it was only one, to be fair, but okay, if you say so. Yearly awards, anything? So Josh Allen's still MVP, even though he took a bit of a step back. Deshaun at number two. Uh, I think that's different. I think Clapp used to be up there, wasn't he? But Deshaun Watson, after a player of the week, gets number two. That's, I mean, that's a little worrisome. Can't lie. Uh, offensive player of the year for the AFC isn't... Uh, Josh Allen, though. So, Todd Gurley could be close to MVP. Shazier is the defensive player of the year so far. Rookie of the year is Clap. Burgess is fighting, but I don't think he's going to beat out a quarterback. Defensive rookie of the year. Teal caught a pick, but he's still behind. McCaffrey's getting up there. I think he climbed at least a rank or two here at number four. 
honestly a little shocked that he isn't close to number one. Uh, but you look at the the awards so far, it's it's looking pretty good for us. Kareem Hunt doing just about as well. Maybe a little worse, but of course Todd Gurley with more touchdowns. Yeah, maybe it's going to be a little bit tougher than I thought. But hey, it was a great week, and we're going against the Bengals. Let's see uh, what that's going to be like next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!